So, hey there people, as we saw in the previous video, uh, in the part one, I have made um, extraction of the code from a trainer about Monster Busters, but you can do it for every other trainer, and yeah, let's move on. So basically we have, uh, uh, we have left off uh, somewhere here, I had uh, a little difficulty, so I have to restart the whole process but it doesn't matter now hexadecimal we cut it some chunk of code we paste it in a hexadecimal and we do convert now what I wanted to tell you is to remember now you have arrived here you see what is blinking do not press enter spaces nothing nothing just leave it as it is then copy I will cut it actually and remove this one. Um, and okay, now again I will uh, uh, take another chunk of code. Whoop, not from here, sorry, sorry, sorry. I have forgotten to bring it to the starting line and well, I think I can take, whoa, okay, hexadecimal, convert, Sorry, I just needed to check something. Yeah. So, then I paste the other chunk of text and so on until I get time I can actually I will try to convert the entire code I have left not wasting too much time <coughs> no so still we go back convert again we take this we add it we take more code and again we add it and do it convert no not this time I have taken bigger chunk of code then it can handle I guess okay mm. let's try smaller Okay. Okay.
Boop. I'm see, I'm not understanding why it doesn't want to do it. So let's take even smaller chunk. Well, sometimes it can be a really painful process to do. It's not doing it again. However, I have this this other side. So I'm going to put it here. And here we have it. Now. Let's continue. Doesn't really matter which converter you use and how you use it or whatever. As long as there is a converter you can use. I'm going to try again full text. Okay. And paste. Now, if I haven't mixed up something in the code, uh, converting, right now when I click execute, it should pop up the trainer. But I want to save that code first. You will have to do the same. Because just in case you have done something wrong and you click close, all is lost. Execute. Yeah, well, somewhere I have made a mistake. But basically, that's what you need to do to extract the code. Now, in the next video, in the part 3, I will redo it carefully and then we will continue on as to where I'm, where I'm going to show you how to actually edit it so it can be your, uh, your trainer. So see you in part 3 guys. Peace out.